Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul State Inc. My name is Beth and today is Sunday, June the 4th, which means it's time for my weekly goals video. I know I haven't done one in the last couple of weeks, but I didn't have a whole lot of goals other than reading, so you didn't miss much. But now we are at the beginning of June and a lot of stuff is happening this week. So the first and biggest thing that is happening is that today is the first day of singing school. If you were around last year, you might remember me talking about it. But basically, singing school is a camp that my church puts on every year, and we invite uh, students from the age of 10 through however old uh, they want to be. It used to be through your senior year of high school, but we do allow college kids to come back uh, now just because it's so much fun to see them. And basically, there is a girls' choir and a men's choir, and the young boys learn how to lead singing and they all learn harmony and singing together. And every night they do devotionals and lead singing. And at the end of the week, there is a concert where they all uh, sing for us, all three different choirs. On Thursday night, there is a talent show, and it's just a whole lot of fun. But instead of getting dorm rooms or having cabins, we have this at our church building, and the kids that are coming in, for singing school, stay with members of the church. So for the past three years, instead of my mother being the house mom, I've been the house mom, which means that this year I have five, possibly six. We're not sure if one of them is coming or not, but I have teenage girls <laughs> that live with me for a week. Uh, I have from the age of 12 to the age of 16 at this particular point in time, because all of my other older girls graduated and were not able to come back this year. And I'm sad because I miss them, but I'm really excited. I have three girls that are returning that I've had before and two, possibly three girls that I have not had as of yet, but that I'm really looking forward to meeting. And then of course, my four-year-old, who's really excited to have her big sisters here for a week. She loves having them come in every year and just being the center of the universe for everybody. Um, but I wind up being the cook and the maid and the mom and the big sister and the confidant. It's a lot of fun, but it's really difficult to get anything else done. So we'll see what happens with these goals. Um, first, I did finish Hello Universe by Aaron and Trotta Kelly, and I just wanted to let you know it's about a 3.75 for me. I enjoyed it. It's very character-driven. And it's about kind of those moments leading up to becoming friends with someone and how sometimes it's just meant to be. There are uh, a lot of things that happen, but it's not action-packed. It's more big actions in small sections and then thought processes and small actions leading to the next big action, which was interesting. I like the way it was put together. Um, I like the fact that we got into several different characters mindsets, um, but it was kind of slow. So if you don't mind a slow character-driven read, definitely pick up Hello Universe. Um, I am doing a buddy read with Elizabeth from Lizzie Fay Loves Books, and we are reading The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Um, I've only read the first two pages because I passed out. I tried starting it last night, and I passed out because it was so late. But we're reading the first 15 chapters this week, and I really enjoyed the writing style when I started it last night, and I'm very much looking forward to picking this up and hopefully getting through all 15 chapters um, in my random moments of off time this week. There might be other books that I pick up along the way, but right now I just want to get my buddy Reed taken care of. I don't want to fall behind on it. Um, as for writing, I did not do nearly as much writing as I thought I was going to do last month, and I'll do a whole wrap-up discussion video for that for Manuscript Monday. But my goal this week and for this month is 334 words a day. Uh, so far, on the first, I wrote zero words, and on the second, I wrote 200, or 184 words. So I really need to step it up. I'm not sure how many words I wrote yesterday, but I will talk about that uh, on Manuscript Monday, like I said. So um, I do have Sock Jacked and The Giant's Teacup. This is actually, 
uh, to work on because I didn't get those finished. So those are the things I'm working on in June. I'm not moving on to anything else. I want to get those taken care of. So we'll see if I get my word count taken care of, if I can get those stories, uh, first drafts written, all that jazz. But I am hoping to at least get 334 words a day, even though this week is singing school and it's crazy. And those are all my goals. I just hope nobody has a major breakdown, including myself, because I'm probably the most likely to do so. Uh, other than that, I have a dentist appointment Wednesday morning, and I'm waiting to get a call about the interview I had on Friday. I think it went really well, so if you guys would please... Um, pray or sing good vibes or whatever it is that you do for me, I would really appreciate it. Since it was a late Friday afternoon interview, I probably won't hear from them until sometime like Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe. Hopefully Monday. Hopefully they loved me enough that they'll call me Monday morning and be like, we want you. Because I really enjoyed where I interviewed. But we'll just have to see. I would really appreciate it, though, like I said, if you guys sent good vibes my way for that, because I'm really excited about it. And that's all I have for you. I would love to hear your goals for the week. What are you reading? Are you writing anything? Do you have any big plans for this week? All that stuff. Please do not hesitate to leave me a comment. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope that you read something good and write something even better. Have a great week, guys.